Mixed Media Arts. Boink, boink. Boink, boink. Hi, my name is Josh Bitterman and I'm a managing partner with Fight Bite Custom Mouth Guards. And today, along with the co-founders of Fight Bite, brothers Paul and Carl Keller, we'd like to welcome you to fightbite.com and say thank you for your interest and support. We look forward to working with you. In this video, we'd like to walk you through one of the most important steps in the process of producing your specific custom mouth guard. You see, much like a fingerprint, no two mouths are alike. And thus, ensuring that we receive a properly completed self-impression kit is critical to ensuring the tightest and most comfortable custom fit from your mouth guard. Before we begin, here's a list of materials you should have received with your self-impression kit. A printed version of the self-impression kit instructions. A disclaimer agreement, which must be signed and received with your impression before we can begin production on your mouthpiece. The Fight Bite Custom Mouth Guard order form. Two different sized dental trays two sets of impression kit putty, as well as a plastic baggie to ship back your completed impression, and a sharpie to write your name on the plastic baggie. But before we begin, we must stress that you're utilizing highly sophisticated dental materials in this process, and thus, you must complete the putty mixing and impression processes within the times allotted we will discuss in this video. Because of the time sensitivity of the process, you will need either a stopwatch, a clock, or a watch with a second hand to complete the task. Step one, wash your hands well with warm water and an antibacterial soap to ensure they are clean prior to handling materials which can be placed into your mouth. The next step will be to test out the two different sized dental trays, one blue and one green, to determine which is the best fit for your mouth. Place one of the trays inside of your mouth and pull your upper lip over the outer edge of the tray to determine what kind of fit it has. Once you've determined which tray provides the most comfortable fit for your mouth, set it aside on a piece of clean paper towel. Next, you'll want to remove one set of self-impression putty. One container marked putty number one and one container marked putty number two and remove the material from each. Next is the first part of a very time-sensitive process, mixing the putties. The reason this is a time-sensitive process is, if not completed in the time allotted, the putty will harden before you complete the impression, rendering the putty useless. Once you begin mixing the putties together, you have 30 seconds to vigorously knead them together with your hands until it is a uniform orangish tan color putty. You must then roll the putty into a hot dog shape that is approximately one half inch thick in diameter and lay it into the dental tray that you've set aside. Next, you will quickly need to create an impression bite mark using your fingernail into the putty about halfway between the outer edge of the tray and the inner edge of the putty like this. This mark is where you will sink your teeth and gums into the impression putty. Next, you place the dental tray with the impression putty into your mouth and sink both your teeth and your gums into the bite mark you created with your fingernail. Remember, you need to ensure that not only your teeth are into the impression putty, but more importantly, your gums are very deep into the impression putty as well, and then pull your top lip over the edge of the dental tray. Once you've buried your teeth and gums into the impression putty, you will need to keep it in place for one minute and 50 seconds. We recommend that you tilt your head forward over a sink as your salivary glands will want to work and you may experience some drooling during the process. Once we receive your completed impression at the Fight Bite Laboratory, we will then pour up an exact model of your mouth. To reiterate, the reason this process is so important is because your mouth guard will be produced from an exact replica of your mouth, so a good impression will ensure the tightest and most comfortable custom fit. Once your model is complete, we then place it into sophisticated machinery with EVA or ethyl vinyl acetate material to produce your mouth guard. Each layer of your mouth guard is then trimmed and polished to eliminate excess material to allow for both proper breathing and communication, as well as to ensure the tightest fit. Your custom graphics or text are then applied before a final layer of clear EVA material is applied to seal them in. Finally, 
Your mouth guard receives a final trim and polishing with eucalyptus for a smooth finish as well as to help keep your mouth guard fresh. Please note the eucalyptus polish will have a distinctive taste and scent when you first receive your mouth guard. This will wear off over time and is nothing to worry about. In fact, an added benefit of eucalyptus is that it actually works to naturally open up your airways. Once the time has expired, run your index fingers along the outside of the impression tray like so until you reach the back of the tray. From there, pull directly downward on the tray and you will feel the suction release and the tray can then be removed from your mouth. Immediately rinse the impression under cold water, not warm or hot, and set it aside on a clean paper towel to air dry. Do not push or press on any part of the impression putty as it has already begun to harden and solidify your impression. Then use the Sharpie to write your name on the baggie and place the impression in the plastic baggie to send along to the Fight Bite Lab with your completed order form and signed disclaimer. Again, you must sign the disclaimer agreement and return it to us in order for it to be in production on your custom outfit. Here's an example of a poor impression as seen on the left and a good, deep impression as seen on the right. On the good impression, again shown on the right, you will see three to four millimeters of the impression into your gum line above each of the front six teeth. If for some reason your impression does not look like the good example shown, don't worry. This is why we've included a second set of impression type work. Simply review the steps in the printed instruction form as well as those outlined in this video and repeat the process. Once complete, please ship the completed order form, sign disclaimer, and self-impression in the plastic baggie back to Fight Fight Mouth Guards, 730 Crooks Road North, Clawson, Michigan, 48017.